Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the TheQuintonGroup.tv. Yes, I'm your host, Jeff Quinton. Today's going to be a really good topic. Today's going to talk about two concepts when pricing a property properly. We're going to really talk about first is real value. Okay, real value. The difference between a list price and actual what the home is worth. Okay, so we've got two, two issues here. One is, what is your home worth? And what is the list price, okay? They're two separate values, or if you will, two separate numbers, okay? So in other words, let's just say that in today's market, if we were doing an analysis, your home is worth, say, 510,000, okay? Home is worth 510,000, right? Now, what are we gonna go ahead and list that home for if our goal is to get $510,000 for it? Let's just say that's based upon the analysis, the comparable sales, everything that's out there, it's gonna sell at, say, 510,000, right? So we've got an option right now to either list 510,000 knowing that's the value, right? Well, what if we go ahead and list it, say, up here for 610,000, $100,000 above market value, right? We can go ahead and do that, but what ultimately happens? Well, you come on the market, all the buyers out there today are more than ever, they, they, they know what home values are. They're searching on the internet, they can see the prices, right? Your value of your home is 510, you come on the market at 610,000. But what happens over time is you're going to end up coming down, reducing it, say 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, three, four, five, six months. Next thing you know, you've already decreased or declined. You kept on reducing your property, kept coming all the way down to finally the buyers and the buying public see that your value is now aligned. Well, what are they going to do? They look at your home. They say, she's, it's been in the market three or four months, right? What's, What's wrong with this house over here, right? And ultimately, 510 is the value, but because you started too high and you came down and you came down and you came down, well, now all of a sudden you're down here. There's maybe one buyer out there. And what are they going to do? They're going to try to come in and give you a black eye and a bloody nose, and they're going to lowball offer. So as they're lowballing offers and no other, no other offers or no one else is showing up, you're now going to have to come down to the offer, which the lowball is at and possibly accept. You end up getting less by starting too high. Conversely, let's just say that your home is worth, say, 510,000, right? And by the way, that's from comparable sales, other sales that are out there, whatever it may be, 510. And what if we go ahead and list your property right now, say, $100,000 below list price? It's valued at 510, but we go ahead and list it at 410. Well, what do you think is going to happen? Well, right now what's going to happen is everyone out there, the complete buying public, every buyer that's in the marketplace already knows it's worth around 510 because they're educated. They're going to flock to your property. They're going to call every one of their agents and they're going to say, oh my gosh, did you see this home that came on the market? It's listed at 410. Well, if this is going to be at 410, they're going to offer on the home. Everyone else is going to offer on the home. And all of a sudden it gets bidded up all the way up. Now, why is that going to happen? There's two things that are going to drive the price of your home. Number one, competition, getting buyers in to compete, right? Competition. Okay. Number two, it's fear of loss, fear of loss. Okay, the fear of somebody losing out because of the competition and because of the fear of loss, your property value and they're going to compete it up and getting a bidding war and over and over value and getting the emotion of it. And all of a sudden, the property value goes even higher than what the value is because you started lower. It's almost like starting at a lower minimum bid price to actually bid it up above value. So to get top dollar today, your home value is here. You would typically want to start lower create a bidding war, create that competition, right? Create the fear of loss and everybody shows up and ultimately you actually end up getting more. Hopefully that makes some sense. Concept number two is understanding, okay, where do we price the property as far as the list price based upon market value? So if your property value is to say 510, understanding the search parameters and criteria and the search bands inside of the internet and so forth and everyone's on their cell phones, Searching, typically it's going to be in $25,000 increments, right? Buyers not searching saying, well, I'm looking for a property right now up to $486,000 or $486,500, right? They're going to go in $25,000 increments. So if your property value is at $510,000, they're going to be searching you know, four fifty, four seventy five, dollars right? five hundred, five twenty five, dollars whatever it may be. So now we have an option right now to go ahead and say, well, where do we price it to, to really maximize the amount of buyers Right now, 
we might say, well, if your value is at 510, why don't we list it just under, right, with that search bandage or that, that expanded up number to say 499, right? Get all the buyers looking up to 500, just a little bit less. That's gonna drive even more traffic to the property, okay? So a few thoughts here. One is there's a difference between the real value of your home and the list price we put on it. You have the ability right now to manipulate up and down, right? The value on where you wanna get so you can get absolute top dollar, okay? Absolute top dollar, that's where you need to be, all right? That's number one. Number two, where is your list price in relation to drive as much traffic and get it just under where everybody's searching? So hopefully this makes some sense. Any questions you have, reach out to me direct. Again, jeff at thequintongroup.com or simply call me 609-398-5333. Thanks again for watching. Thank you.